sembang panas Ini sembang apa? Ini sembang panas Okay, firstly, I didn't know, but I recently read, read from the newspaper. Yeah, I learned that because of the Joseph schooling whole saga. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I'm not aware of that. Yes, I do know, but I find it ridiculous. Uh, no, I don't know about it. For me, it's his pasal lah. He won't do overseas his pasal lah. Good thing that he admits lah, but... It's his right to do it overseas, not in Singapore. Uh, is he Singaporean? I think it's very manly of him. Like, what he did was the right thing to admit to his own mistakes. And it's good of him that he knows how to admit. Because some people out there, they don't know how to admit to their own mistakes. I don't think it's very smart if you know what the consequences are. I think it was a very, he was very honest. Like, I think in his position, right, it can be a bit tough because he's like a very well-known like person, right? So, I think he did the, good, the right thing. Huh? I feel like if you do something, especially if it's bad, uh, taking responsibility is considered a good step. Different people have different thoughts, but because he took responsibility for it, he owned up to it. So I would say it was a good move. I think it's a mistake that he has made, but I think he shouldn't be condemned for it. Yeah, I think he should be given a chance. He worked so hard for it, and now it's just because of minor problem he get cancelled. So it's unfair for him and for his supporters also out there. No, it's not fair to him. He's not doing it in Singapore. Like I said, it's his rights to do whatever he wants overseas. Yeah, it's okay to put it on hold. Uh, actually, no. But if you support one person, that you should support them all the way. People make mistakes. We are humans. Uh, no, probably not. No, because we are all human, right? So people make mistakes. And I think at his like level of fame, it can be pretty. Uh, the pressure can be pretty high, so I don't blame him uh, to like consume this kind of thing. I feel like it is a bit unfair in a sense that he did accomplish a lot. Yes, he did do something illegal, and he should be punished for it. But it shouldn't, uh, how to say, dismiss all the other accomplishments and everything that he has done. I. I think that as a national sportsman, uh, he should know the responsibilities and the duty that he has to undertake. So since he has you know, made that mistake, so I think he has to uh, bear that responsibility. So. No, like I said, overseas is your problem. Right? If he follow whatever is happening in Singapore, he should be punished according to the law in Singapore. Uh, if they're Singaporean, I think it's, it's fair. Because uh, I think they're aware of the law here. Okay. Then they coming back, they have drug in their system. So I think they, they should be charged. Huh? Yes, because I feel like if you consume overseas, you have the potential to bring it inside Singapore as well. And so I think Singapore government is just trying to avoid drugs in all ways possible so yeah I think it's okay. No, it's out of Singapore so like whatever happens outside stays outside lah, I would say. I mean different different countries have different laws right but Singapore law is that it's already stated that it's overseas so it is sort of fair because we do kind of know all this law but um, if for example you're not a Singaporean and you do consume it overseas and you visit Singapore and you get caught obviously it will not be fair mm. you know but it just really depends on your citizenship and where you stay I don't think it's fair because different countries has their different rules and regulations so for example in Thailand right okay it's actually uh, legalized right now for taking uh, cannabis so if one person were to take cannabis for example in Thailand right so it should be uh, legal so there shouldn't be any penalties 